Saturday, April 9th, 2011. It's day one of my water plant experiment. On the left is a uh, pepper plant, and on the right is an identical pepper plant. On the left, we're watering it with water that has been microwaved to boiling and then cooled down and the plant on the right was boiled on the stove and cooled down and both used the same filtered water to start with. So we're going to record this day by day and see if there's, if there's a difference in the health of the plant. This is day two of the plant water experiment and today both plants look very very healthy so there isn't a lot to report. This is day four of the microwaved water plant experiment and there still aren't too many differences in the plant so we'll keep keep it going. This is day 45, it's May 23rd, and I skipped a lot of days because not a lot was happening. But now what I can notice is the plant with, that was fed the microwaved water is significantly shorter than the plant that was uh, fed just the boiled water. There is a big pepper on the microwave water plant, however, it's just a single pepper. And even though there aren't, um, it, there isn't a big pepper like that on the other plant, it actually has quite a few sprouts, one, two, three, four, five, six, that look, uh, that look like they're going to grow into peppers. So. So we will keep tracking this and see what happens.
I just planted the peppers outside on June 30th, which is day 83. The plant that was watered with the boiled water and cooled down is looking nice and healthy with a nice green pepper. The plant that was watered with the microwave water and cooled down was oh, half to three quarters of the size and has a purple pepper. So, the end of the experiment, I didn't have the death of the water or microwave watered plant. However, it definitely was not as healthy, has a purple pepper, which is kind of strange because it's supposed to be green, and only grew to just over half the size. So I encourage everyone to try their own experiment and let me know what the results are.